Hello friends. Again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ravindra Mahajan. Uh, now today we have discussed uh, what is agrochemical, uh, their introduction, their classification, and their nomenclature also. Uh, let us see one by one. These are the basics of my introduction. So content of today's lecture is that introduction. In introduction, uh, we discuss the uh, importance of agrochemical, why agrochemicals are used. And in India, uh, what is the scenario of agrochemical use? So, uh, in second, role of agrochemical in agriculture. What is exact role of agrochemical in agriculture? We have discussed. Uh, classification of agrochemicals. They have three uh, types of classification according to their chemical nature, mode of action, target species. Let us see one by one. Uh, then, nomenclature. Uh, in introduction, uh, what is agrochemical? Agrochemical uh, is the chemical used in agriculture, including pesticide, fertilizer, herbicide, and And pesticide. Most of the chemicals are toxic. Uh, it, it is a mixture of two or more chemicals components. The active ingredient plays a very important role in agrochemical. They have primary content of agrochemical. And then uh, second is inactive ingredient. They stabilize or preserve the active ingredients. Means inactive ingredients are also important as compared to uh, active ingredients. Uh, both the chemicals are uh, important in agrochemical. Uh, one is act as a uh, main compound and second is a, to preserve the active ingredients. Uh, in India, uh, India started pesticide production with manufacturing of plant DDD and benzene hexachloride BHC in 1952. Uh, BHC is the first uh, first Agrochemical of India used in 1952. Uh, DDT and benzene hexachloride are very important chemical. Nowadays, BHC has banned uh, for the toxic effect uh, directly spread. If, if in any condition, uh, we have to take permission from higher authority to, to, to spread on such our crop for preserving. The use of synthetic pesticide in the United States began in 1930 means in India, India is very late. Uh, to use the pesticide as compared to 1952 and as compared to 1930 and spread after world war ii in, by 1950 pesticide were found to increase the agriculture yield well beyond uh, world war ii prior farmers really heavily on synthesis pesticide to control crop insect what is exactly role of agrochemical in agriculture <coughs> Pesticides are chemical used to agriculture in land to improve the nutrient in field and crops. Means role of agrochemical in agriculture is that uh, to increase uh, nuclear nutrient value of crop, to increase crop yield, and to increase the farmer's economy also. Uh, some of the pesticides consumed by farmers contain diseases. Uh, farmer exactly uh, not know to uh, why why some pesticides are, to are toxic, why are non toxic. They directly spread. So, uh, in this case, we have to aware of farmers, weeds, paste, and disease affect 40 percent of the future crop production worldwide. So, this is will increase current pesticide use in phase out. Uh, so, what exactly to use, what exactly uh, use not to use, and that's why farmers are very in confusing in manner. So, will increase in if current pesticide. Use this pest. So, uh, so many farmers are using one type of pesticide, and so many farmers are using another type of pesticide. So, farmers are going to uh, why people are uh, spread such uh, pesticide uh, 
in in the mind of farmer is that some pesticide are used they have uh, profitable to us they exactly not known to their chemical stability chemical inactivity they have active ingredient or not like that so without pesticide fruit production will be retreat uh, many kinds of fruits and vegetables will be in short supply and prices will rise these are the main com uh, main cause why agrochemical are used in agriculture if we don't use agriculture uh, agrochemical in agriculture so prices of the food is very high so middle class family or uh, lower middle class family are not able to buy this as uh, their uh, daily life daily life uh, vegetables and food contents also so moving towards the classification in classification the pesticides are classified on the basis of their three aspects uh, according to target species, these are the men I have taken. Uh, according to their mode of action, according to chemical nature, according to uh, target species means uh, what uh, what uh, uh, they contain of the chemical and what they have act. According to mode of action, their stomach contact, fumigation, these are the types of uh, mode of action. And according to chemical nature, in chemical nature, fact active ingredient provide uh, on actual basis of their spreading ability these are the classification let us see one by one according to target species uh, insect insecticide are there weeds weedicides rodents rodents rats rats are killed by rodenticides mites there are small types of mites around plant uh, in winter season and starting of the winter season uh, in our uh, area they call it millibark these are the mites are killed by miticides while birds some birds are uh, uh, some birds are uh, friends of farmer and some are not and then these are the killed by evicide or controlled by evicide actually birds is almost all birds are uh, farmer to go Farmer friends, but some of some of uh, very rare family of birds are not uh, help help to provide uh, to increase the crop yield, and that's why they killed by avicides. These are the birds. So birds are killed by avicides. Weeds weeds are there. So insects are killed by insecticide, while rodents are killed by rodenticides. Uh, these are the rodents, and they are killed by that rodenticide. Uh, these pillars are spreading uh, some pesticide in their farmer. After pesticiding, the tomatoes are very clear in nature, very healthy they are grown. This is the importance of agrochemical in agriculture. So mites are killed by miticides. Birds are killed by the. Here is the wood. Here is the weeds. I forgot to do it incomplete. Here is the weeds. Weeds are killed by oocytes, birds, avicides. Sites means to kill in uh, pesticides. And that pests are killed by pesticides. And in first lecture, we have already discussed about this issue, about this topic. <clears throat> then second is according to their target species. Target species, uh, same as like that, uh, uh, they have uh, some specific target of the chemical to kill only selective in nature. Uh, so eggs are killed by oocyte. In in starting of the uh, pesticide paste growth, they are in first nature. They have some eggs. Every family are provide uh, are in, uh, in egg in manner. So directly kill egg is with uh, very helpful to oocytes. These are the uh, oocytes directly killed to eggs. Larva, larvicides. On the in this tomato have some larva out there. After uh, larvicides spreading, they are very healthy in nature. Nematodes are uh, killed by nematicides. Molluscus are killed by molluscicide. This pill are spreading uh, some chemical to control the molluscicide. Herbs are killed by herbicides. Herbs are into, uh, in two types. In next scenario, we will discuss. Herbicides are selective and non-selective. These are the weeds are killed by weedicide. These are types of uh, some weeds killed by weedicides are there. So, in microorganism, they contain bacteria, fungi, algae. All are, all are killed by 
uh, fun fungi are killed by fungicide, bactericide, and etc. Uh, some then second according to their mode of action. Uh, in mode of action, uh, contact pesticides. The pesticide when come in contact with uh, pest, they enter in the body of the pest through cuticle and show the poisoning effect. Uh, example of contact pesticide BHC, DT, and sulfan, monoprotopause, etc. Uh, in stomach pesticides, the paste, uh, the pesticide directly go in, uh, go in direct uh, paste in stomach of the paste and then show their effect. This is the stomach pesticide. Uh, these pesticides, when applied on the crop, are consumed by the paste during their uh, feeding habits and enter into the stomach of the paste and directly show their effect and uh, paste are directly killed uh, with the help of stomach pesticide. Then in systematic pesticide, Systematic pesticide. Uh, these pesticides are also called as translocation pesticide, and action is related to plant and not the pest. Only uh, is action selective pesticide, also known as. Uh, these components are applied on the green parts of the plant, uh, like leaves, bark, stem, flowers, etc., and also in the soil absorb. Uh, due to uh, due to spread in soil, a whole plant become toxic. And our and uh, some systematically paste are control. In next fumigants, the dispersion of chemical components in the form of gas, vapor, fumes, uh, smoke in atmosphere is actually is a physical process which is known as fumigants. And uh, those those chemical are uh, applied to use the fumigation process are known as fumigants. <coughs> uh, these are the methyl bromide, ethyl dibromide. Active pharmaceutical ingredients also. <coughs> active pesticide ingredients. Uh, in herbicide, they have two types: selective and non-selective. Uh, selective pesticides, selective herbicides. These are the selective in action and only kill the weeds and not any adverse effect of the crops. Means uh, in our uh, they have called some tannashek are there. Tannashek is the uh, so herbicides known as. These are selective action and only kill the weeds, not, not the crop. This is the main point of selective pest herbicide. And non-selective, these are the compounds are not selective in action and may kill the main crop also along with the weeds. Only trained person are required to non-selective herbicide spreading. And then second, according to their chemical nature. In chemical nature, there are main two types. First is organic, second is inorganic. In uh, organic, are also classified as natural organic compounds and synthetic organic compounds. In synthetic organic compounds, there are organophosphate, organocarbamates, organochlorines, oils, miscellaneous organic compounds. Uh, in the inorganic section, there are copper, zinc, mercury, arsenic, chlorides, magnets, etc. Uh, so let us see one by one. Synthetic organic compounds. Natural organic compounds, these are the First, we have organophosphates are there. These are the derivatives of dimethyl, diethyl, diethyl of phosphoric acid, thiophosphoric acid, and diethyphosphoric acid. Example of organophosphate is that parathion, porate, etc. Uh, organocarbamates, these are the derivatives of carbamic acid. Acid and contain, contain some uh, functional ability uh, to enhance the ability to enhance the nutrient ability of the crop. In organic chlorine, they have chlorine content. In oils, some uh, these include petroleum oils and consist of aliphatic hydrocarbons such as saturated parathion, aromatic compounds, olefinic compounds, and, and the related hydrocarbons are there. In miscellaneous organic compounds, miscellaneous organic compounds are those compounds, those are not included in organophosphate, organocarbamates, organochlorides, and oil, etc. Uh, now, moving towards the nomenclature of the pesticides. Nomenclature, uh, there are uh, main, mainly uh, nomenclature are given by in uh, common name and IUPC name. IUPC, uh, IUPC name is also known as chemical name. These are the uh, nomenclature as given by this, uh, these three systems, trade name, logo, trade name, brand name, etc. First uh, see, what is chemical name of this compound? Let us see. These are the chain 
and O diethyl are there. Ethyl methyl uh, sulfil uh, sulfinyl group also there. Thiamethyl para diethyl or O diethyl acetyl thiethyl phosphoro diethyl. Uh, and in common, they are also uh, known as porate. And trade name are given by some trader, manufacturer, etc. So, hope you are understand the basics of agrochemicals. In next lecture, we will see, uh, we will see uh, the formation of pesticide and uh, uh, pest control, uh, integrated pest control, IPC, IPM are there. Uh, mechanical control also all types of control in next lecture we have seen uh, main principle of peace control are there so hope you understand the topic thank you thank you so much if you have any doubt then please comment on comment section thank you so much